Risk assessment can be risky. I mean, it's right there in the name. Hence, there was risk in drafting Levy and Bell. There were reports over the summer he might sit out a large portion of the season. Like most, the madman dismissed such a possibility as remote, because history tells us such financial squabbles routinely get resolved before the season. Not many players are willing to sacrifice huge sums, in Bell's case, almost a million per game. But here we are, with the prospect of Bell missing significant time now a distinct possibility. So those risks we took drafting Bell aren't paying off so well now. Maybe you'd draft a James Conner as a handcuff, and though you will take a hit in production, you at least have a playable asset to plug in Bell's place. Others, like the madman, don't particularly care for handcuffs. We more often are subbing in our third running back, guys like Royce Freeman or Alex Collins or Lamar Miller, all of whom we would start over Connor, even if we had him. Bell's situation is more complicated than just replacing him this week. We simply don't know when he will return. He could show up Saturday morning. He might sit out half the season. He could become strapped for cash and return any time in between. That makes any transaction that has season-long implications risky. You trade him tomorrow for pennies on the dollar then he shows up next Tuesday and you will have made a poor deal. Only trade him away if you are stuck for RB options and only if you don't have to do so at a steep discount. If you can get, say, a Joe Mixon or Devonta Freeman or Jordan Howard, it works. You are downgrading, but hedging against the worst case, Bell sits out half the season, and you're dangerously weak at RB2. It is perfectly acceptable to react, just don't go in panic mode. For now, Connor is playable as an RB3 flex, behind guys like Collins and the gang mentioned earlier, behind Kenyon Drake and Derek Henry, on par with the likes of Martian Lynch, Carlos Hyde and Diane Lewis, ahead of Chris Garson, Jordan Wilkins and Adrian Peterson. On the daily front, it changes a number of things. Certainly it puts Connor in play as a cheap RB option, FanDuel $5,000, DraftKings $4,500. But he also will be hugely popular, which aggravates our large tournament interests. And because we anticipate a tough game for the Steelers, a revamped Browns squad, on the road, with Bell distraction in play, we're not high on any Steelers for cash game purposes. Of course, anyone is in play in large guaranteed prize pool tournaments, GPPs. Cheap guys are cheap expensive guys are reliable, and guys in unideal matchups are contrarian candidates. Antonio Brown always is an option, despite his price in quarterback Ben Roethlisberger's rough home road splits. Wide receivers Juju Smith-Schuster and James Washington also get GPP boosts. We suggest some small shares of these players, but don't recommend too much exposure. In the meantime, let's join together to send our friend Levy in a message, please come back. The decision post fantasy madman Drew Loftison wrote a rage Jared Wilk debate whom you should start this week, Marcus Mariota vs. Andrew Locke Drew, Mariota, the Dolphins, HMMMM. Mom always told me, if I can't say anything nice, say nothing at all. So what can I say about the Dolphins? 
Well, let's just say I don't fear that matchup. Locke, on the other hand, should be expected to show some rust. And he is facing a Bengals secondary for which we have much more respect, even if we don't fear it. Jared, Locke, maybe he hasn't played in 20 months, and maybe there will be rust, but Locke has had success against Cincinnati the two times he has played them, 56 for 88, 670 yards, 6 touchdowns, no interceptions. Though he is facing a defense that allowed 23 total QB touchdowns and ranked 8th against the pass in 2017, this should have plenty of offense. Mariota has a new coach, new schemes and uncertainty at receiver. At least Locke has his old pal T. Why Hilton? Good luck, Mariota. Last season, Drew won series, 9-8 big weeks case Keenum QB, Broncos, versus Seahawks, FanDuel $6,300 DraftKings $5,100, the Legion of Boom has eroded. Keenum has weapons on par with what he had during a breakout season last year with Vikings. We would venture a guess that his favorite target will be Emmanuel Sanders. Alex Collins RB, Ravens, vs. Bills, FD $6,700 DK $5,600, the Bills were among the worst defenses against opposing fantasy RBs last season, and we don't expect it to get much better. With Nathan Peterman at QB, this could get ugly fast. Heavy workload thanks to Gamma Flow, and efficiency thanks to matchup May Collins of Splendid Option. Keenan Cole WR, Jaguars, at Giants, FD $4,500 DK $3,800, with confusion over who will absorb the lead role in the Jaguars receiving core, we didn't expect a generous Jenkins shadow. Cole is a big playmaker.